Hello and welcome to the new Dev Diary about the Bus Simulator 16. In this video, we're going to focus on company management. Driving a bus in Bus Simulator 16 is much more than just driving the bus. You are an entrepreneur and want to establish a reputable bus line business in town. This means raise your reputation, earn money, buy and customize your buses, hire drivers and expand to more city districts. Let's have a look at all that. One of the most important assets is your reputation. You earn reputation points, for example, for being on time. Use your turn indicators when stopping at a bus stop. Help your passengers get in and out by kneeling the bus and so on. On the other hand, don't cross red lights. Drive too fast. And don't brake too harshly. Passengers don't like that at all. The other important thing, of course, is money. Use your profits to buy new buses. And, as any thriving enterprise, hire people. Hire new bus drivers in the employee menu and assign them to bus routes that you have driven yourself and proven to be profitable. This expands your business. Of course, you can also customize your shiny new buses. The customization menu lets you change the color of your buses or place decorations wherever you want. Finally, you can give your bus the moustache it deserves. Some of them are still locked though. This is where our reputation comes in again. The higher your company's reputation, the more colors, decorations and new bus models get unlocked. You can even make some extra money by placing ads on your bus, if you so wish. When you finished driving your route, it's time to see how well you did. The statistics page shows how much you will earn a week driving this route, what you will spend on bus maintenance, personnel and <clears throat> maybe speeding tickets. Anyway, check your reputation increase and see what colors, decorations or even buses will unlock with the next level. Hmm, do you think you could do better? Especially those speeding tickets and accident repair costs don't look so stellar. Drive the route again and improve your performance. This is very important because your performance sets the profitability of this very route. If you can't make a profit, neither will your employees. If you had a good run on a route, you can assign an employee to drive it. Of course, they will never be as good as you, especially when they're novices and scholars. But the better your reputation, the better drivers you can hire that come closer and closer to your original performance for this route. Naturally, the employees you already have will also get better and better. The more routes they drive for you, the higher their level will get and they will too nudge closer to your original profitability. In the beginning, your company is only allowed to transport passengers in the suburban district. But as you progress, complete missions and show city officials that you are a veritable business partner, you'll get access to more and more lucrative districts. Connect the districts, add bus lines to the crowded inner city and hire drivers to serve all those routes. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this dev diary about the company management in Bus Simulator 16. By the way, did you know that this Bus Simulator had a multiplayer mode? No? Well, we will tell you all about that in the next video. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.